we here in Canada, we are big on Thanksgiving. Moreover, it's my daughter's birthday on the 9th and my birthday on the 12th. Thanksgiving is on. Oh no! No, 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 no! Welcome back to the channel guys. Big Sunday dinner going in our kitchen right about now. Thanks for clicking this video. Thanks for staying with us. Like, comment, subscribe and share. And let's get cooking. What am I making today? I'm making buttermilk fried chicken with rice and peas and coleslaw. Chicken over here, soaking for a few hours, which it should. And I just put the coconut milk, season up my pot, and I will get the second segment going. Yep, also, I'll be roasting a half a pumpkin I have. I don't want it to go bad, so I'm gonna roast my pumpkin also. And that's for dinner. I don't know what food, what we are drink today, Colleen. Water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's about it for today, guys. Hope you guys are having a blessed Sunday. And I keep calm and stay positive. Even though Rona, she's still the boat. And I limit people engagement. On top of it, I'm worried because guess what? Thanksgiving coming up. And we here in Canada, we are big on Thanksgiving. Moreover, it's my daughter's birthday on the 9th and my birthday on the 12th. Thanksgiving is on. No, on the 10th. Lord Jesus, for me. So my birthday is on the 10th. My daughter's birthday is on the 9th. Thanksgiving is on the 12th so we have a lot to celebrate and give thanks for nevertheless whoever we can invite over you know it is what it is so that's what we're about we're planning on doing that anyways so maybe we'll have a few guys a few guests a few close friends over and that's about it and me and the birthday thing, me not so big pan birthday, but you don't know, you know, you have to celebrate the thing and give thanks, so that's the whole idea. I'm a love cook, so hey, there you go. One more reason for entertain and cook, don't. <laughs> yes, guys, so we'll touch base again with you guys when we're about to get the fried chicken started. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. ready for the oven and then okay, so why are you scared if it's not real then when I when, when I watch it mm. like this look and then I first went back 
rice and peas pack. Yeah, make one over go on the rice and Red peas, peas coconut milk. I have pepper, scallion, thyme, a little piece of yellow bell pepper, salt to taste, and that's so how we go to work. Yeah. Yes, my dear. It may seem like it's a lot of peas, but it's not a lot. Right amount. So we are going to cover she. And that other pound thing where I got another pour of one. I make sure you go and simmer. And then kitchen has um storage container, butter dish. And yeah, they come in them come in very, 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 very handy. So every now and again I will save back two so I have just a little bit too much water in my pot so therefore we'll scoop out a little bit one more stir and then we leave our make sure simmer yeah. turn down the stove and leave our them rice and peas come out fluffy like Miss Kitty. Yes, I'm going for the food too. Leave our Mexico and fluffy like Miss Kitty. <laughs> yes, I. Alright, so fried chicken coming right up. But just come in a man, zoom in, make me them see what I go on in the fried chicken pot now. Buttermilk. We have a little bit of Italian seasoning, paprika, salt, black pepper, chicken seasoning, no MSG to me thing. So all of that herbs and spices, everything in my chicken I go and soak. Soon see what I go on. 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you want your chicken to come out nice and crispy and juicy, do it overnight. Season up your meat and then you pour the buttermilk over it and let it marinate in the fridge. So my question, what oh, in terms of you have the buttermilk chicken, right? Mm -hmm. What if you've the buttermilk chicken and the regular fried chicken? Like, would it taste the same, same way? Um, no. I think the buttermilk give it a more... I would say it's a different taste from the regular um, egg and flour batter. Okay. And with that being said, I'm not using any egg. I'm only using the flour. I'm going to season the flour and of course i'm gonna coat the chickens in the flour and then to the frying pan and that's how we are doing it yeah you hear that chefy chefy to the thing that will give it a nice taste you know something totally different from like I said, the regular way how we deep fried chicken. Yeah. Sometimes you have to switch up the thing, you know. You can't just have the thing uniform. You have to switch it up every now and again. You know? Switch it up every now and again. And you like it, you may not like it, but try something new and sometimes you might be surprised not your cutting yep you're right yeah so because my kitchen space is so limited so I have to transfer this stuff I'm gonna heat up the oven and then 
350 roast my pumpkins. I have a sprig of thyme, a little bit of black pepper and salt. And of course I put some olive oil over it. Be careful. Olive oil over it so that it doesn't stick to the pan. And that's about it. About 20 minutes because I don't like it too soft and mushy. So about 20 minutes and my pumpkins are done. So I let the oven preheat. My rice, I go and simmer me have to turn that down because I don't want it to be burning before it actually cooks. Mommy. And then I'm going to prep for the fried this? chicken. I'm ready this. Pumpkin seed. Oh. Those pumpkin seed, yeah. you know what I could have done with it? Yeah. I could have take them out from here when I cut open the pumpkin, wash it and put it on a baking pan like this one and roast it with salt and okay. it tastes yummy but i don't have enough so i was gonna put it in the garbage yeah that's fine yeah thank you oh my god she's such a helper i'm telling you if i'm washing dishes she wants to help if i'm cooking <clears throat> she wants to be on top of the counter and of course you have to make it practical so that they get familiar with how their food are prepared and of course they learn that way maybe them can fry a one egg for me who knows yeah me I can do our thing I can do my thing too you can do your thing too yeah tell me what you can cook I can cook soup what can you cook Madison soup soup yes my soup or your soup yeah. your soup my soup yes so guys this is this is what we got going on, a, a dilemma I should say. So if I cook the Jamaican style soup, they, are, they frown, they don't like it that much. They'll eat it, but it's not their thing. But you don't know what the picnic them like, noodle soup, ramen noodle. So whenever I tell Madison I'm gonna make soup, she's like, oh mommy, your soup? Or my soup <laughs> so I know exactly what she's talking about but you know she said them are this me them are, bit, them are this the big top chef but it's all good right all right it's all good no hard feeling to the thing them like what them like and of course I like what I like I know but excuse me no you can't stay there babe oh. I'm just helping. I know you are. That's fine. I'm helping with some flowers. You gonna bring me flowers? Yes. Why are you gonna bring me flowers? Cause I love you. You love me? Yes. Can I get a smooch? <laughs> I love you too, Mama. I love you too. Alright, so. All right, guys, so we're about to get the fried chicken started. I have my flour for my coating, the knife coating. And then I'm, I, add, I already add the salt. And I want to drain off the excess liquid off the, the chicken, but I can't seem to find the grill that I use, so I'm gonna improvise. So, <clears throat> also, I'm gonna put some black pepper and I'm gonna put some more paprika and cayenne pepper. Everything is just by judgment, no precise measurement here, darling. So you just go with the amount of spice that you think is needed. So we need to get a spoon. <coughs> just gonna combine all of this. Yep, we're 
We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Khalid, you know something that all where um fried chicken is concerned. I would even say just deep fried chicken alone. I'm talking like fricassee chicken. I didn't even know that was the name for it. Fricassee. When you brown the chicken and, and then cook, cook it down. down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fricassee chicken. Anyways, so that's that. Sometimes I like to taste it to see if me, me salt is overpowering or if it's just right. And I think I need just a little bit of salt. Just a little top. And I think that would do the trick. <coughs> Turn down the rice pot because I don't want it to burn. You're not looking at the rice pot. I'm looking see the rice pot. Come on. Come looking at the pot now. I'm not charge you. I'm not charge you for look, brother. I'm not charge you for look. Okay, coming on nicely. I need to take this off now. See? Still want to dry out some more and steam down a little bit more. So we are going to allow that to happen right now. But if I put the file on it, much longer it's gonna cook too soft so i turn it down to a minimum and then i'm gonna just leave it to finish cooking and that's that okay now i'll leave this here my fry my oil is heating up and Hey Colin, you know long I have that Dutch pan, that frying pan? Any Jamaican or overseas, you know, have a, a, a Dutch pot. Yes, <laughs> not now go and be no. itching. <laughs> hey, about Dutchy. Yeah, man. Fry me proper. Long time. Couple of years, well, maybe older than Amelia. It is, Amelia 10. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Dutchy. All right, so I wanna drain the chicken a little bit, but I can't find my grills. Where are my <laughs> grills, Rainica? Instead of using that one. Because the reason why I wanna drain it is so that I, it doesn't soak up too much of the the flour so that's the reason why I want to drain it I need a tongue where is it yeah I don't want it to soak up too much of the um the flour so I, I want to drain it just to um make sure and it's just me and Colin and Maddie so we didn't do a lot because even though, you know, a fried chicken, you know what that means, so. Russian, no, I got none. <laughs> I just did half a chicken. And that's that. If you have more chicken and you don't want to waste your batter, you can go ahead and do and do some more. Put some more. So I have a hip, a leg, a breast. Oh, cut my breast and a wing. That's okay. You can cut it after. Mm. Some people like big breasts, you know, so breast, make breast. it stay. Some people like the big breasts, so this is this is okay for this size pot, and of course it will still maintain its temperature because you know sometimes when you put too much chicken in it at once, the temperature goes down and a whole lot of mess happen with your chicken so with that amount of oil and the size pot it's good 
for my four pieces of chicken even though they are a bit big but it's good enough so we're almost there guys I'm waiting on the oil to heat up to that perfect temperature and then we're good to go all right it's time to get it going now guys I'm gonna get everything coated and then just knock off the excess and then you drop our in. Normally I would do it with my hands and do it but use the tongue instead. Knock off the excess and then we drop our in. Like I said, the size Dutch pot is the right size for this amount of chicken. Just, our, just like so, and we put our inner it. And we just leave our to fry now. Get nice and brown. But at the same time, we're going to cook right through. Smell nice already. We're not done yet. Yeah. So it will take at least, the hip will take at least. 15 20 minutes to soak through the wings, 8 minutes, the leg, I'll give it another 10 or so minutes. We want to make sure they cook right through. I won't even touch them yet. I'll just leave it like that for now. While I clean. People. I forgot my pumpkin in the oven. I totally forget. It's a good thing I put the timer on. I completely forget. It smells so nice. And we're we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. We are safe. So, I'll 
give it another 10 minutes for it to be properly done and we're good to go all right so And I move them a little bit. See, come on, take a look, take a look. Nothing is turning brown and not yet cooked. See, guys, look, they'll take their precious little time and cook. But sometimes you fry the chicken and they turn brown and they're not yet cooked. And then you have to take them out the pot because mm -hmm. it's gonna get so dark. But no, these are just. While they're cooking, the color will um, eventually change, and, and that, that's a good sign. You have some good fried chicken going right there. Right temperature, right amount of flour coating, and of course, right amount of seasoning. All of that good stuff and you get the perfect, perfect fried chicken. Yes, my dear. So, I will just leave them, make them go on. Cook the them tea. and light mm -hmm. like the breast you can take out the chicken breast chicken breast done it's kind of floating on top of the oil so that's how you know when it's finished the leg can soak a little bit more Take the breast out. I don't want this to overcook. Leave it there to drain. on the leg how that look Colin? Mm, that's a good one why some people call it a good one too Hello man, fluffy like Miss Kitty. Like that we say, you know. It's good. So I'll take out this stuff. Oil and pepper. Scallion. Or green onion. This pepper. Tiny stick. Take all of these out. And so we are the reward. Just like that.
me give it a one taste because you don't know your chef you have to make sure it's safe. Put down dance I'll give that another few minutes to fry. And that's that. Okay, so this cook. This is cook. Right through. Mm -hmm. Right through. Mina asks. Whoops. <laughs> Mina asks. I eat that people. Mina asks. Done, done, done. Why am I cover up this? Silly. Look at it. Okay, my pumpkin is finished. I'm running out of counter space. My chicken finish. I need to remove this so I can put this over here. We'll put it on top of this so don't mess up the counter. That's the pumpkin. Zoom in for the roast pumpkin there. Okay guys, so one last thing for me to make and is some gravy for my chicken. You guys don't know how that make a easy one, two, three. So you guys have watched me cook today. Because we are, we are going to the gravy. Then. Oh, I'm gonna put some red onions, of course, green onions, onion, um, tomato and bell pepper. And I'm gonna put some thyme, season to taste. Add a little breadcrumbs to thicken the liquid and that's about it for the gravy. So you guys in you know, my kitchen, invade my kitchen, see how I cook my rice and peas. Shelly, I mean, have no sticky rice around here, remember that. Some buttermilk chicken, roast pumpkin. And I'm gonna make my gravy now. So you guys stay calm. And that me always say, keep calm, stay positive. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. <laughs>